a bus to anywhere just to be Okay. Swimming at Rap Sesh AZ. Um, we recently did a YouTube episode on the 2080 series um, from 3M. This is their new color film, film series. Here's their newest swatch book. You can get these at fellers.com. That's where we usually get all of our film from. Um, we got a lot of interest online um, from our followers about the 2080 series and the improvements on it. So we're actually going to do an episode showing you the best tips and tricks for installing that 3M 2080 film. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, we're using two colors. Right here, this is a, a new color for 2080. This is a gloss light green. And then we have the gloss black as well. So this is a new color, right? Yeah. New color to 2080. And then yep. the black is a, obviously everyone has black, so we're trying out both the new color with 2080 and a color they've already had in 1080. Right. So the biggest game changer with this film is actually the cover film that is incorporated on top of the layer of film. Can you actually roll it out and let's get our piece cut? Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright, so one of the biggest game changers with this 2080 series film is that it actually has a cover film incorporated onto it. Um, the cover film is really great for a lot of reasons. Uh, the main thing is, is that it's going to prevent orange peel or mottling uh, that you see on a roll. Usually gloss colors just look really, really bad coming off the roll, especially gloss blacks. Uh, so the cover film actually prevents this um, from happening during the roll shipment and storage. Um, the best thing about this cover film is you can actually install with it. Most cover films, uh, you remove them before you do the installation because they're not very flexible, they don't conform with heat the way that the vinyl does. Um, the cover film on this 3M 2080 series is actually really, really thin. Uh, it's a lot like almost saran wrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a texture of kind of saran wrap, I feel Yeah. Like. I'm actually, we're going to remove a bit of the cover film here on the table just to show you guys um, how thin it is. So you definitely want to install the film with the cover film on until you're going to trim and work around the edges. And we'll show you that later. Like even, even right here, just from being in the roll, like it probably can't see it on camera, but there's a lot of, like she said, like modeling. Like yeah. And it's just from the pressure of everything being on there. But you grab this cover film. Can you see that in your head? Okay, cool. And, I mean, it... Totally gone. And you want to, you want, when you pull this stuff off, you want to pull it straight down. You don't want to pull it, like, up, because you create a lot of static. You want to pull it just straight off of it, just kind of like you're um, pulling transfer Can paper off. So, yeah, it's, once again, it's a really thin, like this is yeah. almost like saran wrap. Can you hold it? It kind really of feels quick? like saran wrap, it's just a little tougher. Can you like push through it? Yeah, like see this stretches. Oh yeah, just like vinyl. So it's meant to work with the vinyl. You can heat it, you can stretch it, you can do all that stuff. And then when you're ready to trim and work around the edges, that's when you remove this. And you're going to have a perfect film. Um, it's not going to have any scratching from installing or orange peel from sitting on the roll. Um, you've got a completely good surface. You also, before you trim though, you want to remove the film because it, it does kind of give your knife a little bit of a, a resistance. And so, since it is kind of like a saran wrap fill, you definitely want to get it off before trimming. Right. So when we're pulling like knifeless tape, we usually will remove the cover film and then pull the tape. Um, when we go around the edges or do any trimming, by that time we like to have the cover film off. Normally, we just try to get the surface of the film down. You try to get a majority of the whatever surface Whatever you think, down. whatever you can that's not too crazy. Because once you do start getting into really convex areas, it can lift off the vinyl. And then at that point, you just pull it. Right. And I feel like you do have to provide a little bit more friction and pressure when you're installing with the film, just because there is that extra layer. Once again, it's super, super thin. Um, but you want to use a little bit more pressure. It takes a little bit more heat to get it warm. But otherwise, it's really thin and conformable and easy to install with. And you're saving yourself from having to do like a crazy post heat and getting scratches and things like that out. Gloss black is 
it gets really, really scratched up when you install it. It doesn't look clean, and usually we'll either have to post heat with a torch, like a flame, yeah. um, or we really like to use our pressure on demand steamer, and that gets a lot of surface imperfections out. So if you do get any scratches, or you still have some orange peel, or you want a quick post heat, uh, the pressure on demand steamer is really, really great for that. doing your normal prep just like any other vinyl um, usually try to do a I mean there was actually adhesive on this so we took it wrap remover alcohol bath um, we actually uh, did a clay bar on this to make sure we got all of that adhesive up and maybe any imperfections that were on the hood from tree sap or bugs or anything like that um, and then yeah just do another alcohol bath ready for install and Make sure you get up and around all of these areas. All the inside, go on the inside, wipe all that down. And one of the most important places to wipe, especially doing a hood, is right here. Up under these. Because these always have dirt up under them. And what happens when you go to lay this hood, all that dirt from under here is just gonna suck up into your wrap. And there's no point in cleaning it at that point. So, make sure you don't just wipe the hood, wipe all of your surrounding panels as well. And you're ready to go. I think I'll try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm getting tired of talking. And I need more of a show right now. It's time that you made your mind up. Cause lately all it ever does is change. Feels like we're on Talking, talking, going round and around, back around. I will fight like no other every day. I won't stop like the others. I will stay. Cause no I was installing it, so I was being a little rough with it. I wanted to see how much it could actually take. I actually pulled this section up right here pretty rough and kind of popped it. I wanted to see what kind of you know adhesive lines I was going to get. Um, just to kind of see what the new 2080, you know, how forgivable it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this cover film now since I'm ready to trim pretty much. So normally when we, we remove the cover film, um, I always remove it before I trim. You don't want to trim with it on there because it does have some, kind, some type of resistance with, with your blade. Um, it kind of, kind of drags a little bit, so it is a lot easier to cut it with it off. But I would say after you get the whole surface down, then remove it. Unless it's a super complex area, then you might want to remove it beforehand. Um, but for hoods and stuff, normally 90% of hoods you can, you know, get the whole thing down, all, you know, the whole surface down right away. All right. So there's a bunch of different ways to get this cover film off. A good uh, way I use it, I usually just grab a knife and kind of pick it up really easily off the edge. Um, and you can kind of just pull the whole thing. And you can tell, I mean, just right there how much glossier this already is. There's also no adhesive lines here where I actually had to pick the film back up. Um, and I mean, there's no scratches whatsoever. it's able to stretch with the cover film on there. Because there are some cover films that, you know, you're not allowed to really stretch with it at all. It, you kind of have to pull it immediately. So, kind of just showing the capabilities of the cover film here.
So that really shows you what the cover film's capable of. You're really able to throw a lot of heat down and get a lot of stretch out of it. And then, let's see if we can't get this right here. Grab a glove for And yes, this is an office chair. It is the best thing that we could find to set this fender on. And this normally- This is pretty normal for bikes. It we is. We use, we use the back of chairs a lot, actually. I think we've used a stool in it, or not a stool, a like a step stool. Yeah, a little step stools work sometimes. Um, you can see we just picked up all of this. Yeah. Picked it up, re-stretched it. This is really intense This is, a, to this do is an insane, if you want to come look at this real quick, like up close. This is an intense That's stretch. That's a lot of different yeah. complex angles. And we were able sure. to do all of that with the cover film on, let's, which is amazing, actually. Let's finish getting the rest of the surface, and then we'll remove the cover film and we'll get that same shot. So we got the whole surface. Let's just pick that up. Pretty much the whole surface down. Completely. That was all in one piece. And that's very impressive for a cover film to do that. That's you know that's unheard of. So it's okay. We're gonna pull back off. All right. So cover film is pretty easy to get started. I just kind of scratch on the edges of this film, and it comes up really quick. It's super thin, really easy. You get up close, you're gonna see how fresh this green looks compared to the surface of this right now. So pretty much fresh wrap, completely not touched at all. No adhesive lines, no stretch lines, no like no fading whatsoever, and that is a very hard stretch to do. So the way we finish this is we'd wrap everything around the edge of this plastic about a half inch, and then we would use a half inch clear laminate strip to edge seal everything, and that's going to keep this from failing over time. That's really important. Um, you can apply that to cars as well. If you have any stress areas, things like that, all you got to do is edge seal the film and you're not going to have to worry about water or dirt getting underneath there and the wrap's just going to last a lot longer. And you really want to post heat this. Post heating is huge for any vinyl That's you like have to post heat. the main thing right there. Okay, so make sure you guys are post heating your wraps. Um, all films should be post heated, so the best thing to do is go back with a heat gun and post heat all the edges and the seams. Um, all any kind of really stressed areas you really want to post heat. IR heaters work great, as well as the pressure on demand steamers. Steamers work really well if you did get any surface scratching or there is a little bit of orange peel in any kind of film. It's really easy to just finish it off with the yeah. steamer. Like we have had fogging under the film as well over when when we had a really hard stretch and the four tour steamer took it right out. Right. So, so pretty impressive. Three and twenty-eight. Good stuff. this a new way I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know I'm getting tired of talking and I need more of a show right now it's time that you made your mind up cause lately all it ever does is change feels like we're only talking talking going round and around back around I will fight like
this week make sure to keep up with our daily phone on instagram and facebook um, as well as our youtube channel that's going to be rap sesh rap sesh az or vinyl vixen raps if you guys are interested in trying out the new 3m 2080 series film uh, make sure to check out fellers.com you can get all your film needs there as well as the new swatch books it's a great film super duper yeah.